sedikit, sedikit, sedikit. Okay. So I'm just going to clear the energy of my room, sealing off my room in white light. <sighs> Clearing out any and all human personality constructs, releasing, resolving, dissolving any low vibrational energy in my energy field now. Can I also add something in? Of course, go crazy. <laughs> I do also like to know how I can improve, increase my feeling ability. Your feeling of what? Healing abilities. Ah, nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. I've been raking plants and things. You should do the and, course. Uh, <laughs> I want to. I yeah, want to. yeah. I, I so thought that's what this was. I thought I was doing my like pre. Pre. Yeah, things. yeah. We can talk about the benefits of the course, and I can ask yeah. them what specifically I could add into the course specifically for you. That's something that I like to ask guides of like, is there an extra little tidbit that would be perfect for Pip to understand? Especially if you've done Reiki, like going into the course is going to refine and like. It's going to show you where you're channeling the energy from, who you're communicating to, how to check who a certain guide is, how to create proximity, how to read who's an angel, who's a galactic, how to use galactic technology for healing, how to um, use Merkabas and clear energy with certain um, geometric shapes. It's kind of like Ricky on steroids of just like more like psychic surgery, you know, how to affect change and what how to read the field like so many like kind of protocols and lessons in one and those lessons now are going to be um um available like a few days before to do at home and to watch and then when we come together in the group everyone will get to actually just straight away practice it and experience it rather than me talking awesome. too much because yeah. last group people were like i wanted to practice it more and yeah so and even if you say to me katie i want to go ahead and like watch more of the videos so you can practice more or less whatever we can make it work for you okay 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 so clearing my field i set sacred space now i call in any being of the purest light resonance working supporting assisting pip here and now today i call in pip's higher consciousness her very highest self that's right, you work with like very elemental energy, don't you? <sighs> calling in all ascended masters as a dragon being here, calling on Serapis Bay is here for you. I saw him when you were explaining a face. Have you ever met Serapis Bay before? No. He's like an ascended master that's here for ascension. He's kind of like, um. <laughs> I have my own feelings about him of just like he's kind of like a, a stern guidance to be like go here and go here and now it's time to do this he feels very much like a a wise uncle presence that you're not like best friends with but you're kind of like okay i'm gonna learn a lot from you does that make sense um he says he has been guiding you he's saying over the last 16 years and more consciously over the last two years you do a lot of things with your hands he's showing me um he helps you move energy with your hands like i guess he's showing me like little pot plants and things like this he says he is very profound at alchemy like i'm not sure if you have played with like just the term alchemy I, I see all of energy healing is alchemy really um he works alongside saint germain um he's saying it would do you well um have you explored many of the archetypal energies of the ascended masters and our, our archangels I'd say probably no. <laughs> He's saying it would do you well to dip your toe in the pond of what is available to you at this time to start to conduct, channel, decipher, read, discern. In answer to your question, he is saying, and, they, and, and he showed me an aspect of the course, like we, we learned to go into a room, but what he's saying to you is there is an energetic space that you can create, a lobby, a 
foyer where you can create the the building of your dreams and you can invite a certain guide participant um, energy into the space with you he, he's showing me i so english over a cup of tea and a biscuit um you are able to create a sheath which is a certain type of decloaking mechanism where which enables the only the truest light of that entity being um energy is able to project its consciousness toward your field does this make sense so you would sit in a chair in the room of your mind you would ask okay today i would like to consciously connect to um saint germain um or maybe there's a book do you have he's showing me you know how some people have those books and it's like those cards it's not the tarot it's the other um type um yeah um, um um yeah i've got them yeah uh, yeah yeah angel cards yeah angel yeah. cards send master cards those like ones that you yeah. pull the day and it's like a message he's saying you can yeah. flip through those usually there's like 52 there's like quite a lot like there's a lot in yeah. there and you can shuffle them that, that, that i set my intention to upgrade my psychic senses who is the best to communicate with shuffle them lay them down choose three different cards set the timer for 20 minutes and he's saying put on a piece of music and close your eyes go out into a beautiful scene in nature go out into in your mind a forest wherever you would like to be and situate yourself there watch yourself as you sit there and create a chair across from you and invite the consciousness the presence of this energy that you would like to bring forth um he showed me a little piece of paper and a pen i don't know if you draw or if you write but um <laughs> he's showing me a little piece of paper and a pen and the drawing helps to move the energy and you might even find that you ask hey can i draw you so i can create my own image he's saying before you invite the being in create a screen uh, imagine a mesh of white light and program with your hand up to that light with your power with your light with your voice i intend the screen to only allow what is the highest essence to come forth and then when they come through anything that is not of pure light will literally not be able to come through this force field does this make sense Yes. Wonderful. And that's really, really helpful. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Get the sort of I I do need that. I, I, and we'll go through this in the course. This is a literal yeah. exercise that we do as well, so it's cool to have confirmation from um service. Um They're saying he would like to instill far more confidence to branch out in your gifts. He's speaking about Mm, the group that you are attached to you are a leader um he, he's saying your energy like a <laughs> it's making me feel like a kick up the butt but it's not such a harsh thing it's more just like a um <laughs> he showed me like if you were to put fireworks up your butt and you go Woo! like an elevation like a raising of your frequency to realize that you are more powerful you are more gifted you are more talented you are more viably connected to your psychic skills than potentially you know he's showing me a um okay imagine like an energy field it feels like an igloo around you it keeps you safe in a way it keeps you protected in a way but it keeps you mm, dull if that makes sense and i don't want these words to be harsh but there is a higher light force a more technicolor multicolor multifaceted energy channels that you can yeah you can connect to way higher up so you just haven't been shown how to run much higher light before in a more poised way and this is the journey he's showing over the next 12 weeks this is the journey that you will be going on and i guess if you did the course the course that's in a month that's three months away so um, yes so back to the experience he's saying invite the being down get your piece of paper and a pen and get draw them ask them questions about themselves and ask how can you help me in my journey or if you don't get an answer back he's, he's saying you just talk hey um what's the green one Raphael 
so he's saying it helps to denote them by color sometimes you might be like oh i'm feeling blue okay maybe it's michael i feel the masculine energy it's going to start very weak until you turn up the dial that's another thing that we can go through together um would you like to know any more information about this or shall we move on to the clearing that's that's good that's giving me quite a lot to think about mm. You can connect to Earth Spirits, Earth Davis, like Green Tara, Kali, um, every he's saying every deity, whether it's pulled from Islamic traditions, Christianity, um, Indian culture, they all no one's wrong and no one's right, they're all just tapping yeah. into the same thing. So they're saying for you, you actually have a full spe- <laughs> I don't know why he's showing me like food, but he's just showing me like, putting on a roast dinner and Jesus is at one end and then like Krishna's at the other end and you 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 have the ability to call everyone to the table. Bridget's here, this Irish goddess. You have a galactic Bridget, here. Bridget came through this week. Oh, Bridget's here as well. <clears throat> She's saying, yes, she would like to work with you in her temple um, of healing. She comes through as like a golden orangey hue of light. Um, green. Do you have a pendant or a necklace? She's showing me something or a crystal that you can hold and it reflects and resonates her energy and you can call upon her. She wants to do some heart opening for you into more trust. Um, do you have... Let's go into the clearing. So I'm just going to leave this realm and I'm just going to yeah. connect into your auric field now. Just working, um, opening up a portal of light, connecting in. Oh yeah, you got so much coming for you. They're showing me, they're saying your mind is going to be blown. Like you're going to be, it's like, you're showing me it as plants. You know how plants live in that glass dome? Um, and the sunlight oh sorry i don't have the right terminology you, like a grow house right um greenhouse then, yeah greenhouse thank you a greenhouse and then they're showing me you're in a certain greenhouse of sorts but once you're expanded into the full circumference of like the light and oxygen and everything in the new layer around your field you're going to breathe deeper than you have before you're going to feel so much more expansive so there really is a big shift for your frequency that's coming as well as your gifts like your personal energy is going to be far less compacted if that makes sense it's going to be um activated in in new ways that are going to feel very autonomous for you or, or, or very integrative and like affirming is the word that they want to use affirming that you are on the right path affirming that you are communicating to who you think you're communicating to at the level that you are wanting to so they're saying you hear a lot more than you realize they're showing me the ears if you're pottering around and you're like do 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 and then you look back and you're like what have i been doing for the past hour and you've been in your own world in that world there is an octave up of you that's communicating to these guides and you're having full-on telepathic conversations you're just human is realizing it at times but isn't Mm, the radio receiver and welcome to the channel of pip's mind it, it hasn't like um fully yet realize that that's what's going on in the background and have the ability to tune and tap into so a lot of the times you are actually downloading a lot more full conversations than you realize and you're going to channel information in like conversation style does that make sense like does this ever happen to you where you're just mm. like oh i've been talking to myself or like you're in your own little happy world for a long time oh, i'm often in my own happy world and i sleep really really well yeah yeah they're saying that they're chit chatting to you all the time they say you have a very inquisitive mind you're always asking oh what does that mean about this and what are, oh and i wonder about this like you've your curiosity and your open nature is what allows you to be open-minded enough to have these conversations and now when we come through to refine these skills and senses it's going to be like coming home to a whole new world of friends um is what they're 
relaying it as like coming home there won't be a need for television because the galactic tv or the cosmic consciousness that you're tuning into is going to be so fulfilling and liberating and fun and explorative and you'll be able to download tinctures to for remedies for plants you'll be able to download divinate answers for people's ankle like what they should do like you're going to be able to read people's energy and kind of like download like a little packet or a formula for them does that make sense it's a lot to do with like tinctures and like do you make remedies for people do you like sprig of rosemary and three drops of this and of this balm and then put it on your souls like they're showing me get that the herbalism and energy within you is strong is all they want to say but you can do it in whatever format you like you can do it through the cosmic galactic frequencies it doesn't need to be a physicalized offering so okay so now finally coming to the clearing we're just going to open up your field yeah a lot of angelic presence in your energy field right now so i asked to connect to pip's energy field and i asked to take her us up into higher dimensional realms okay we're going up into the eighth dimensional frequency to do our clearing work today are you consciously working with dragon energy i i know there's a dragon there <laughs> okay. i haven't not in I a conscious seen way. Or... okay there's a whole family of them there's a very feminine one that feels very maternal to you and then there's like a like a made it like a f- deeply feminine one and then a deeply masculine it feels like a mother and a father kind of energy and then there's other ones around um okay so i'm just laying your energy body down there seems to be a lot of pressure over the heart like um and over the throat and over the third eye i'm gonna just do one first layer of clearing out of your energy field of all density and debris what would be a reason that you would have heaviness over the throat and the heart Um, are you gripping tightly to is there an unconscious fear about opening into the full expansion of your gifts yeah probably yeah it's like a gripping onto remember how they said that little igloo and it's like on the outside of this you're going to be like oh look at this world there's like a embedded did your parents ever make the energy realm seem weird has anyone in your life made potentially this other side have a negative connotation um yeah yeah uh, and my, I can, my my mum um she will take a card now she'll pick a card but <laughs> does it i think she does it out of the okay. woman to please me rather than yeah then a curiosity but yeah. a bible back there okay let me just clear let's go in and do you get permission to release this like it's quite strong it's I like do. a grip yeah get okay calling on i don't even call on your galactic family calling on pips oh hello that's right there's like a super powerful syrian being here calling on all the galactic family of pip calling on isis energy They're saying we are waiting in the wings when it is appropriate to have more tangible conscious realizations of our presence and what if they're almost saying that they want to show you what they can do for you in terms of feeling safe. So they haven't been consciously presenting themselves to you because they only they read people's energy bodies like that, like they know when to communicate and not to communicate. So this fear, do you have a brother? Yeah. Your brother's energy is here too. Do you give permission to release any and all fear that might be inherited or absorbed by any of the family members and unplug unplug all the family members? Energy yeah. out of the field? Okay. I'm just opening up a super blue light and I'm calling on the Syrian being to step forward and any Arcturian consciousness that works with. Okay, we're releasing now. (sighs) 
clearing all unconscious bias, clearing all unconscious bias around spiritual gifts, clearing all negative connotations, clearing all fear of the heart, fear of the mind, fear of the third eye, <sighs> absorbed projections from society around psychic gifts and power, clearing all fear of black magic and magic shows, clearing all disbelief around this goes deeper than this life so do you give permission for me to open up your higher akashic records as well to clear from the template of your soul wonderful i'm going to start with this life first so all the debris heaviness there's an old operating template of we're just going to clear it all out there's nothing to fear but fear itself of the unknown Clearing this whole template now that can be released, clearing out the father's projections, the father's emotional energy off the heart. It's like a rigidity of sort. It's like read the paper, do it, drink the milk with the thing. Clearing all mechanisms of binding to safety that is a projection of safety. It not it is not the truth of what safety actually is in the cosmic lore. Okay, the fear is just coming out of the solar plexus now. Clearing all unconscious um smaller energetic fields of safety that keep it bound into a certain type of experience in her spiritual gifts there is safety to be found in the expansiveness there is safety to be found in the divine is what they're saying Clearing out any and all self-made limitations, any and all self-made limitations over the psychic skills, over the crown. It's like, oh, I just won't go there is what they're showing me. Oh, I just won't go over quite that far. So there's just an energetic cord coming out of the solar plexus taking up. It's like resistance for you to shine. Have you in this life inhibited yourself from shining oh yes oh yes let's clear this out too it's like to shine. yes yes it's like i'm too this to shine i know it's like <laughs> they show me in the workplace or they show me in this and that it's like a part of you is aware that you are actually indeed smarter than the person sitting in front of you but you won't let yourself make that known a part of you has like a very good sense of humor but you keep that to yourself so you don't it's like this playing small playing small playing small it's bleeding out into all these um other realms so let's come through the, okay i'm gonna open up the organic akashic template records for pip the highest organic akashic template records thank you oh wow yeah yeah, the playing small thing is a really big thing. Handing power over to others. Giving responsibility, to your own personal responsibility to others. Opening up the highest organic. Okay, yes, Akashic template for Pip. Okay, I'm calling on the masters of the records, please. Calling on the masters of the records of the highest divine light and calling on Pip's oversoul. Yes. Okay, she's ready to clear 13 contracts of disempowerment. Would you give permission to fully clear all lessons that are able to be harmonized into the full God source light for your own re-witnessing of your power in this life? If you're talking, I cannot hear you. Oh, sorry. Yes, I am. Oh, wonderful. 
Okay, clearing out 100% from the field, all disempowerment, all projection of power sent to others, all denial of her um, inherent divinity, all denial of her power, all denial of her specialness, all denial, denial of her shine, all denial. <sighs> Going back into childhood. All disbelief, all disconnection, all hiding. Or silencing of what she truly knows in favor of the louder voice to be. All negative self talk within the mind, all negative projections of the identity of Pip through her physicality, through her experiences. Clearing all connections to any and all oppressors of her frequency, energy, power, light, force, might throughout all time and space, throughout all time lines. Clearing any and all vows, contracts that she has signed unto, agreed to, to be small. <sighs> wow, there's quite a lot in there. So that I hope that's feeling okay to be clearing. Mm -hmm. Is this feeling okay? Good job, you're doing great. Or binding of the heart, all tortured energy of the heart, or captured of the inner child of the heart. You are now free, you are now free, you are now free. All internalized hatred of self releasing now, internalized judgment of self, all internalized choosing of people who will reflect to her, her small nature, all safety mechanisms that are able to be released, all projections of family members, all negations from the church, all beliefs, all connections, all ties, all connectivities to um, religious ideologies and frameworks that do not support her full light now, clearing, 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 releasing, resolving, dissolving all connections into... Uh, do you give permission to release all connections into religious ideologies? that might yes. keep you small yes disempowering or frameworks that do not support her full expansion into cosmic consciousness and her full <sighs> all um school all systems any and all systems any and all systems any and all systems any and all systems any all governmental have you ever worked for the government Yes, archaic, the hierarchical order and bullying. She 100% disconnects from this governmental. Okay, that's coming really deep out of the heart, the solar plexus, the mind, the spine. So I'm just going to let that continue to fractal and channel out. <sighs> all beings um, in this space, please, all hands on deck to release, coming down deeper into the sacral now, self-worth. Do you give permission to release all unworthiness programs? I am not good enough. I am not pretty enough. I am not this enough. I am not that enough. I am not this enough. I could never be. Age 14, clearing. All less than that she has settled for about the identity of herself. This is not a true reflection of her inherent light. This is not a true reflection of her inherent worth. None of these clearing all falsehoods. Have you ever had a friendship? There's a woman, maybe she's related to you that's made you feel shit about yourself, but you kept the friendship and it was like you knew it was like passive aggressive, like they would speak down to you, but you would kind of just ignore it. There's a woman in here. A female friendship. It's very passive. I'm just going to clear it. Clearing that person and that friendship and that allowing of behavior. Could be past life. Okay. They're saying there's five more minutes of this clearing. So I'm going to set a timer as all of this. It's just like depravity density releasing out from the deeper matrix of the field so coming through the throat coming through the crown 
I asked to release any and all fear around psychic gifts, around channeling, around communication, around light language, around using her voice. Yes, okay. Okay, yes. Yeah, you've been um, punished or um, there has been a negative ramification and a consequence for speaking out. Do you give permission to for me to just open up the throat now and release out any and all consequences and persecution and um, torture? Ugh. <laughs> I'm not even going to explain what I'm seeing. We're just going to clear it. Yeah, unless you're interested, but it's kind of gruesome. Clearing out the dark ages, 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 clearing out torture, clearing out persecution of voice, clearing it out. Clearing out fear from this time, clearing out all cellular memory, clearing out all memory from the DNA, clearing from the energetic level, deeper, deeper, deeper now. <sighs> clearing out all loss, clearing out all hurt, clearing out all abandonment from the sacral, from having a child. That you lost a child that was taken away from you. They said that you were not deemed fit enough to care for this because of your delusions is what they're calling it. Um, when you were spiritually attuned in this time so releasing that experience now from the cellular memory from the muscle memory from the whole being energy systems now <sighs> transmuting all pain from these experiences into the full god source light now as i call on full god source light to open up calling on full god source light to open up calling on full god source light to open up for a pip <sighs> Asking on the divine light of understanding of Pip's higher soul, of Pip's oversoul, to come through as a pure frequency of white light, making sense of all of the choices that have led to these experiences, please slow releasing an awareness into the conscious and unconscious of these choices of these parameters that were placed into her physicalized expressions for growth for maturation of the soul <sighs> calling on her higher light now as a high frequency blanket of white and gold light a toroidal field upgrade is now taking place <sighs> A higher receptivity and connectivity to the gifts is coming online. They're putting you like in a rose, but I'm just seeing like thousands of petals folding in around your field and the internalized mechanisms are being mm, 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 transmuted, mm, organized, mm, systems are being... Mm, they're saying think about your conscious mind and subconscious and experiences like a computer program when there have been codes within the system that reflect internalized truths that are not based in actual overarching truth this process will take one to three weeks they're saying to come through the coding of your internalized matrix to it's like wow i didn't know this they're saying was there did germany rewrite history books at school when to reflect that Hitler didn't do the genocide? This is what they're saying. And I don't know why they're using this metaphor. It's so random. They're saying what's happening inside your system now over the next one to three weeks as they come through and... Um, this was like quite a deep clearing, they want to say. And what is happening now is the internalized consciousness there are different programmings and codes that are now able to resonate to the true overarching experience of oneness of your soul of your power 
it's rewriting the experiences that you had into a new timeline so your vessel your human your sense of self now is able to vibrate in a different signature frequency does this make sense Yeah. yes so it's almost like as you make peace with the experiences that you had to have it's being overwritten with the awareness that you chose to have these and it coming back into a state of empowerment rather than pretending to align with the actors and the versions of you that chose those experiences you are coming to the awareness that you are the oversoul you are the higher conscious you are the empowered consciousness who chose to have those experiences so there is no emotional energetic charge and the disbelief of your higher nature is no longer because you're operating from the higher realm does this make sense yes absolutely wonderful so i don't know what the fuck they're talking about but they're saying just like germany rewrote books to reflect the history and everybody bought it you can it's just such a weird thing to say um i'm sure there's a reason for it um just like that you are able to this is how rewiring works this is how quantum leaping works this is how mm-hmm. transformative resonance works throughout the auric field i guess this is something for you to know as well for when you come into your own healing powers you might like to use this method and technique which oh okay okay yeah this makes sense get that sort of for me to put into the course okay we can go through this technique of like clearing out from the deeper layer and then reharmonizing to the ultimate truth supreme truth something about you and the higher octaves is very has a very unifying frequency your higher consciousness elements um think about like think about an elder right if you go to them i don't know if i'm going to do this justice to explain what they're trying to impart on me but let's go for the ride together they're showing me an elder one a wise one and imagine children running up to the wise one and they say to the wise one um miss miss um jonathan hit me jonathan hit me um the wise one doesn't say jonathan why did you do that the wise one has the awareness to see yes jonathan hit you because you took his train um and you were calling him mean words realistically so there is a karma of uh, an instant karma of well he hit you because you were being nasty you in your higher this is a very adolescent perspective but you in your higher nature the heights that your consciousness goes to is very deeply pl- plugged into the unification realms the very high template realms that have a very total totalistic perspective of all that happens has a purpose a reason a rhyme a plan uh, a positive um occurrence through it so one yeah. of your powers and one of your gifts is to be able to oh my god i feel like crying it's so beautiful is to be able to see the totality of any being that steps before you because of your higher nature and your higher mind and things that you have developed within you you are able to supply a type of healing energy that connects people deeply into their totalistic consciousness their over souls for them to download and access their own so you playing in the akashic records is very um on par for your um healing thing so we can go into that if you haven't already um okay they're showing me i channel galactic light and i'm very good at transmuting something that's very prone for you is this very all-encompassing white light i want you to imagine now your crown is opening opening up and a giant channel of white gold green light is coming through and we're going to follow this light up it's coming out of your ceiling coming out of your house coming out into space going out past the sun going up into god source going up into the highest dimension and you're connecting into all of oneness all that has ever been all that will ever be and the healing nature the unconditional love that is the matrix that supplies universal life force energy 
energy to all beings, all mechanisms, all underworlds, all dimensions runs through you. So channeling that light back down as a much smaller colorant and running that white light, that totalistic energy, unifying consciousness through your body. Everything is because it is. And this is the power and the place of neutrality to come to that is deeply healing and there is love behind every action and deed so run that through your crown i'm just moving that down through this holy oneness running it through your third eye this yes you can see very far in the part you can see a lot girl no wonder you had a fear as well of it like it's kind of a big <laughs> it's kind of a big deal <laughs> Um, to hold all of this awareness obviously your human will only download what is viable for its physical body um, coming down through the throat you speak in fairness coming down into the heart running that light through the solar plexus they're saying it is first necessary to apply these belief structures to yourself seeing yourself in this light of yourself there will be emotions that will come to the surface as you learn to forgive yourself for ways that you have hmm, thought less than yourself at times due to hmm, other natures. And then running that out through your hand. And we're just going to create a um, sphere of light around your energy field can i let this energy just gently wash through your field as you sleep tonight i set and i program this totalitism energy and the higher consciousness of pip to run through your field run through your field run through your field elongating accentuating highlighting illuminating integrating all clearings all activations today thank you coming like a tulip over your energy field sealing you in sealing you up embodying this light peace tranquility oneness understanding forgiveness faith unity okay i'm just setting that to be active for the next 12 to 16 hours and just closing down now all channels of light closing down all interdimensional portals closing down all realms giving thanks to all beings closing down the akashic field closing down the akashic field closing down the akashic field closing down the quantum field (sighs) closing down all scenes that have been seen here today (sighs) taking everything back up to the full god source light thank you and coming back into your body when you're ready closing down all connections between me and pip Hello. I I had an owl outside hooting. Oh, cool. Too much of that. Hoot hoo. Yeah. How are you feeling? I felt I felt quite um. Yeah, quite deeply. I could feel things on my body. Ear was ringing. Maybe and, going um, deep at the moment. Yeah, I felt it was. It was deeper than last time I've seen it in around me rather than all through me. Yeah. Good job. I would let all of that integrate. I think the course is going to be amazing for you. And even if you can only come for like an hour or half of the thing, we can do an extra little bit to connect together and practice the things. I think it's just important that you learn the protocols and you start to connect with the energies and you might want to share, like practice with your group friends. But I think like this is going to be a good step for your skills because you're a very powerful healer. So I think can any type of thing that connects you into that higher octave and framework of you is going to make way more sense for who you are. Yeah, the totalitarian bit, that's, um, I'm trained in sustainability and holistic environmental science, so that's how I see things, I see it as a helicopter perspective, so when you're talking about that, that makes complete sense. That's so cool, I've never seen that before, I've never seen a soul like, the soul's energy print like that, I guess you needed to know who you are a little bit more. Ooh. Well, I have to run because I've got another client, but yeah. 
gosh, time's gone so fast. I know. We went so... It's just crazy. We weren't even in time, were we? Um, what a great session. I hope that you integrate all that. We did go super deep. So if you do feel a little bit emotional, just let it come up and out. But I think you're about to go on like a pretty transformational journey with your frequency. Thank you. You rock. Good job. 